In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and today we have a very, very special episode about the Feast of Theophany. We are going to learn about one of the major feasts at the church. And today I have very special guests with us today. Thank you for coming. Hi, what's your name? Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, what's your name? Jacob. Hello, Jacob. Thank you for coming. Um, today we are going to learn about Theophany and we are going to have a craft. Jonathan, could you please open the box and uh, pick a question and give one question to your brother? Okay. Thank you. Jonathan, please um, open. All right, you open the box. Please give a question to um, Jacob. What's your question, Jacob? How many? How many sacraments in How our? How many sacraments we have in our Coptic or? Orthodox. Orthodox. Christ's name to. Church. Okay. How many sacraments we have in our Coptic Orthodox Church? How many? How many sacraments we have? Okay. We have seven sacraments in our Coptic Orthodox Church. Can you name two? Something happened when you when you were a baby. Mm -hmm. What happened when you were a baby? Your parents? Baptism. Yes, so baptism is the first sacrament. And you had communion. Yes. What's your question here? What happened after, after Jesus was baptized? Jesus what happened? Baptized. Yeah, what happened after Jesus was baptized? Something came from heaven flying and a there was a sound. A bird. A bird, okay, a dove. Yes, correct, very close. And there was a voice, a very loud voice coming from the sky. Who was it? It was God the Father. Yeah, and there was a voice saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Jacob, your turn, pick another one. What's the question? Okay, give one to the Jonathan. Thank you. What's your question, Jacob? Why is baptism important? Baptism important. Why? Why is it important? Because you have to take communion. Okay, yeah. correct. Perfect. Because baptism, when you are baptized, you start practicing your Christian faith and you start taking communion, you start confessing, and uh, you start practicing all the other sacraments. What happened when you get baptized? I don't know. Okay, you receive something. Jonathan, you know? The Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit. Good job. Yes, you received the gift of the Holy Spirit. You receive the gift of the Holy Spirit when you get baptized and you become Christian. And the Holy Spirit dwells in you. So, so you become the temple of the Lord. Okay, what's your question? What happens after we get baptized? Yeah, what happened after that in the church? Um, you just we wear a, a band. A red, red yeah, a ribbon? Band. Yes, and correct. Take communion. correct. Good job. Okay, next. Who's going to pick next? Jonathan, your turn. How, how many times the baby of the... How many times the baby get immersed in the water? How many times? Three. Three. Why three? What? Jonathan. Holy Spirit. Okay, that's one. What else? I mean, a name of the Father, the Son, three the times. Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Three times. Yes, that's why Abuna, 
baptized the baby three times in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus told the disciples, go baptize the nation in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay. What's your question? How many times mm -hmm. a, a baby is anointed with the holy myrune oil? How many times? Um. Okay, this is a little bit difficult. It's actually 36 times. Yeah, Abuna anoint the baby with myrune. It's the holy oil. Do you know what is myrune? Okay, it's a holy oil from the church and actually it has a very nice story. The disciples, after Jesus was buried, they took all the flowers that was on the body of Jesus and they made a very, very special oil and they anointed everybody with it. So how many times? Again? 36. Uh, 36. 36, good job. Okay. One more question. I guess the last one. Whose turn is it? Me. Okay, Jacob, your turn. Jonathan. Where was Jesus baptized? Yeah, where? Um, In a river. Okay, it has a name. It's in the river of Jordan. Okay, that's the name of the river. What else? What is the name of the... Holy oil? Oil. oil that Abuna used. Abuna used. We just said it. I don't know. Myrun? Myrun, good job! I'm so proud of you. Yes, the holy Myrun. So, Jacob, why do you think baptism is important? Because we have to take the communion and we... Okay, so the Feast of Theophany means... Theophany is a word, is a Greek word. It means the manifestation of God. Huh, manifestation of God. We actually saw the Trinity in the baptism event. What happened? There was... A what? A white bird. A dove. The what? Yes, the Holy Spirit. And who's, um, who's the son? Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. And there was a voice from heaven. What's the voice? God. Um, God the who? God the who? Uh, God the Father. God the Father. Yes. So God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit, we saw in the shape of dove. Okay. So that's why we call it theophany. We call it what, guys? Because there's a sun which is God. And there's a um, Holy Spirit which is the bird and God. Yes, so that's the manifestation of God. That's the meaning of the word theophany. Can you repeat theophany? Theophany. Name of the theophany. Can you say theophany? Theophany. Theophany? Theophany. Okay, so theophany means the manifestation of God. Now let's start with the craft. Here you go. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. So this craft is quite interesting. So the craft for today uh, is going to be about the baptism of Jesus. And we have... John. This is the person who's gonna baptize me. Yeah, who's the person? Who's this person? Um, What's his name? This is Yisa. And this is starts with a J, like your name. J John. John the. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. His name is John the Baptist because he baptized Jesus. Yes, not only he baptized Jesus, but a lot of people. And he was teaching people about repentance. So we have John the Baptist. We have Jesus in the craft. And this is an interesting stick. You're going to know why we have it. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. So we, we can put, put it, it in the bottom. Yeah. And move it. And, yeah. As if Jesus was baptized in there. Okay. And 
a little blue paper like the water the river of Jordan so what's the name of the river right here so you put this right here yes you put this right here but there's like already water I see that yes so first pull the sticker So we are done with the crafts. Can you show your friends? Uh, can you show your friends what you guys did? So Jesus is in the river of Jordan and actually baptism is by going and being immersed through the water. It's actually not correct. How was Jesus baptized? Is it by spraying water or being immersed through the water? Immersed. Immersed through the water. So Jesus was immersed through the water and that's how we are also immersed through the water when we are baptized when we were babies. And, and what happened after baptism? The Holy Spirit. So we received the gift of the Holy Spirit and not just the gift of the Holy Spirit but also now after we finish the craft we want to show you what we did. Can you show your friends what you did here? Can you move Jesus up and down through the water, the river of Jordan? So Jesus was baptized through being immersed through the water. And it's the same way all of us was immersed through the water. And we received the gift of the Holy Spirit not just to practice our Christian life, but also to have eternal life with Jesus. Because through baptism, we enter the kingdom of God. We overcome the world. In the epistle of John chapter one, it says, can you read this verse for me? Before we take the verse, can you read this for me? Yes. No, this one. Who is he? Who? Who is he? Who? who every overcomes overcomes the world, but he believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And look, this is he who came by water. So we overcome the world by being baptized and by believing that Jesus is the Son of God. Jonathan, what did you learn today? I learned that um, when you baptize, you uh, give away the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Spirit and through the gift of the Holy Spirit, you enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes, you have a life with Jesus. Not only you become Christian, but also eternal life with Christ. And what else did you learn, Jacob? I learned that we can take a feast. The Feast of Theophany? Okay, so what's the Feast of Theophany? It's when Jesus gets baptized. Correct, when Jesus was baptized, Theophany means the manifestation of God because we have seen the Holy Trinity in this event. We have seen the dove, which is what? Which is the Holy Spirit. The, the yes. The Father. And the Father, the voice which came from heaven, which is the Father. And the Son. And the Son, which is? Um, 
Who was Jesus? Jesus. God. Jesus, the Son of God. Good job. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So the voice was saying, This is my beloved Son. Can you repeat after me? This is my beloved Son. No, I can't hear both of you. This is my beloved Son. In whom? In whom? I am well pleased. I am well pleased. This is my beloved Son. This is my beloved Son. In whom I am well pleased. In whom I am well pleased. Gospel of Matthew. Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Verses 17. Verses 17. I hope you learned about the Feast of Theophany, and I hope that you attend the liturgy and the liturgy of the water, and spray the water all over your houses and take blessings, and always remember the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is inside us, inside your heart. And... Baptism not just cl cleanses us from our sins, but also it gives us etern eternal life with Jesus. Thank you for coming and thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Can you say bye to the camera? Bye.